And let's go to Michael H. wants to know, King, how is your relationship with the Honky Tonk Man? Michael H. I wonder what H stands for. Uh, well, his, his his Twitter name is at Michael Hemprig. H. Hemprig. Well, that's probably what the H stands for, Hemprig. Yeah, Hemprig. Well, Michael, I'll tell you what. Um, my relationship with the Honky Tonk Man over the years has been – questionable. Even I didn't know what my relationship was. It's a, a and the honky tonk man and I are first cousins. Uh, Wayne Ferris is his real name and his, his mother and my mother were sisters. And so, um, you know, we saw each other a lot as kids growing up. <clears throat> then once, um, once Wayne got in the wrestling business after I did, he, I don't know, we just, we, we worked together a lot in the, in the beginning, then, especially once he went on into the WWE, you know, it was it was never a relationship like we were close cousins or anything that where where we hung out together or anything like that. He even even as kids growing up, he lived in the city about he lived in up in uh, uh, Bolivar, Tennessee, which is probably about I don't know 60, 70 miles from Memphis. So we didn't you know we'd see each other on occasion, but not not real often. And then once he got in the business, we saw each other even less frequently. So, um, but somewhere along the line, he said some derogatory things about me online that I heard about and that sort of stuff. So I thought there was for some reason or other, there was kind of, you know, bad blood, but then, uh, much like the Corey Graves and Booker T thing, uh, after, after a few years of me thinking that, that there was bad blood, he actually contacted me and said, Hey man, I'm I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to drum up a uh, a deal here where you and I can have some match against each other, and it would really, you know, it would really draw a lot of money with the people really thinking that we have there's real bad blood between these relatives. So um, anyway, that that really that really never happened. But then I realized, you know, that the stuff that he said was had been saying was just basically kind of a work. Uh, and, and, but more recently I just saw, I just saw, um, honky tonk man. And, uh, I think I put the pictures up on, on Twitter. Uh, he and Jimmy Hart were sitting at the table right next to mine at a, at a signing up in, was it Philadelphia? I, th- I think it was Philadelphia yeah, I think it was or something. Philly. Yeah. yeah. I think it was Philly. We were sitting at a table together and we talked for, you know, we've talked for a long time, but so I guess our relationship is fine now. Uh, but it's been you know, a little weird over the years. So you're telling me all those. But now he, he lives. Now he lives in Phoenix, and you know, nobody. Even even Wayne, he doesn't contact even his even his uh, sister, even his family. They say they just never hear from him. I think he just kind of stays to himself out there. So you're telling me all those you know shoot interviews that he did on Jerry Lawler, saying all those things, was just trying to start an angle with you. That's what he said. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 